Hello again YouTube. I am out again hunting some local parks. Uh, the park I'm at today is called Ferris Park. Uh, I've actually been here a couple times uh, already and I've unearthed some kind of interesting things, a lot of older stuff, and uh, there's so much of it in this one particular corner of the park that I'm, I'm pretty sure it hasn't been hunted before. So uh, I'm just going to take a quick look around, maybe for an hour, hour and a half, and uh, I'll see what I can find, and I will, uh, I'll show you guys what I come up with. Here we go. All right, within about 30 seconds of making my opening video, walked a few feet, got a pretty strong hit, uh, and we've got a piece of rubber, so that's nothing special, but I saw these two little guys fall out right next to it. Let's see what we got. Maybe it's just one. Just a penny, 1970. Let's double check there's not something else. Okay, second hole of the day. This one came up really strong, uh, 50 cent piece. So, I don't know what I got, got in this one. I'm not sure, but it is right there. So we'll do another little live dig on this one. Let's see what we get. It's still there. Oh. What do we have here? Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Too bad I nicked it. That would be a 1974 50 cent piece, which is exactly what it was coming up as. That's amazing. That's the biggest coin. Actually, no, I did find the Sacagawea dollar uh, a while ago, but that's a good coin. I love it. Good find. Just uh, dug this hole in the park a few inches down. It was coming up. It was actually coming up around a, between a nickel and a penny, and this just popped out. And I have no idea what this is. It looks to be copper, and it looks like some kind of pin or, or brooch. I couldn't tell you. I'm going to clean this up and get a closer look at it. It's got a design to it. Very interesting. I'll let you know. So this is pretty funny. I, uh, I dug my first hole here and I was getting a pretty strong hit. Some are uh, silver and aluminum and I, you know, my, pin, my pointer was, was finding it. I mean, I was, I was within a couple inches of it and uh, I was pretty much right upon it. And I was using my digging tool to dig for it, and uh, all of a sudden it disappeared. Couldn't find it, and figured, oh, well, I guess I'll move on. And uh, funny thing is, it's stuck to the tip of my digging tool. So that's kind of crazy. I have no idea what it is. Looks to be, I don't know, who knows. Some old copper pipe or something. Interesting. But I think there's actually something else still here, right in this plug. So we'll do a little dive dig, live dig, see what we get here. Oh, there it is. Not a penny. It's like 1974. Just dug a plug here. It's bouncing between gold and uh, silver, so. No. Oh. Yeah. That's a condom wrapper. We'll just go ahead and leave that one there. <laughs> just make sure. Yep. Nice.
Just dug up something really strange right in the middle there. It's pretty heavy. And I have absolutely no idea what this is. I mean, it's pretty soft. It might be lead. What in the heck it's doing out here in the park, I have no idea. I'm going to try to clean it up a little bit and see what I can find. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's lead. Okay, we've got a big hit down here. A few inches down. Oh, and there it is. Shotgun shell. Nitro clip. Have to clean that one up. It's pretty interesting. It's a good find. All right, decided to switch parks. I'm uh, at Bancroft Park, which is neighboring to a golf course. I know that golf course used to actually be the park, but uh, obviously you can't hunt on, on that land anymore. So I, uh, I was over here by the play equipment, and obviously this is very new, but I got an interesting signal. It's coming up a penny. I think I see it popping out right over here. It's pretty green, which is a good sign. And it is a penny. Oh, yes. It is a wheat penny. Man, that's an old one. All right, I gotta clean this up a little bit because this is looking pretty promising. All right, right next to that weedy, right next to it, I got another signal as I was moving on. It is right here. I'm seeing something promising. That appears to be gold. I'm not quite sure what the rest of it is. It feels pretty light. But that end piece, at least upon first glance, appears to be gold. So I'm going to look into that a little bit more. Cool find. And there is more. So I've already found this much of it. It just keeps coming. There we go. That'll be interesting to figure out what that is. It's clearly a necklace. Not sure what kind. Right at the base of this tree, just had something fall out of this clump right here. And another bullet. I was just about to leave for the day because uh, it's starting to sprinkle a little bit and I decided to go around the back of this tree, dug a couple little holes because I was getting sporadic hits. There's something right here. And I can't quite tell what it is, but it is tiny. Oh, oh. I am not sure what that is. I think it's plastic, unfortunately. It's pretty light, but I'll take a closer look at that for sure. It's interesting for sure. Just a few feet away from my, where I found that piece of jewelry, I got something here as well. This tree has given up a lot of good stuff. An old shell, Rimfire, capital M. I'll have to look that one up. Okay, I decided to head down to where all the water washes out, down the little path there, all the way down to the edge of the woods here, and I found something interesting, and I'm not quite sure what it is. It looks really old. It is what appears to be copper, and I have no clue what this is. It looks like a really old cap of some kind. If anybody has any idea of what this might be, please let me know. 
All right, off the beaten path, down this little uh, hill here, I figured I'm gonna try to explore this because I don't think many people come back here. And I got a hit maybe about 30 feet off the road. It was right under this little pile of dirt. Oh, I see it there. <laughs> that is awesome. That's pretty old. Looks like I hit it with my shovel a little bit. Oh, this is great. What a good find. I'm going to clean this up and show you guys a little bit later. That looks pretty old though. Loving it. That's a cool find. Hopefully there's a date on it, because I would love to know how old this is. Cool. Alright, one last one before I have to go to work. What is this? I have no clue. It's got some writing on it. Is, uh, was that simplex? This looks pretty old. Very interesting. Very interesting. Gonna have to find out what this is for sure. Pretty cool find, guys. I love the little eagle on it. Incredible. I'll definitely be coming back here probably tomorrow and uh, searching for the old stuff because it's all down here. Okay, I am back for day number two here at Bancroft Park. I am going to be exploring more in the woods today. Uh, day is amazing. It's an absolutely perfect day out. It's getting a little bit colder uh, as fall approaches in Michigan. So for me, that's great weather. Um, the, it's been raining the last couple days as well, so the, the ground is nice and moist. Um, I did find yesterday, right off the edge here, and I'll show you in a second, a couple of my best finds, and that included that little toy car uh, and the little pencil sharpener, um, which I'll tell you guys more about later. Really, really cool finds, and I found those within 10 minutes of going down there, so that's going to be my primary focus of the day. Have the day off, got nothing better to do, so I'll be here for a while and I'll show you what I find. So yesterday was mostly focused up here along the place where all the kids play, found some old fake jewelry, things like that, lots of coins, um, nothing spectacular. Uh, as I worked yesterday down into this area where really nobody goes, uh, that's where I started to find some really, really cool stuff. I know a lot of dumping goes on around here. They have signs everywhere to try to prevent people from doing it. But I've got a lot of area to cover down there. So I'll, I'll do my best and, and see what I can find. Uh, but I have high hopes today. i got a good feeling. I think I'm going to come up with some cool stuff. I was detecting up against this tree and uh, noticed these three little guys sitting on the ground. Right there. Looked them up real quick and they're air gun pellets. So somebody's been back here hunting something. Kind of strange. They look pretty recent. Found something kind of strange. Uh, it looks like a piece of wiring. And it's coming up right around where the uh, silver starts. Kind of afraid to touch it. Because it definitely looks odd. Oh yeah, it's detached. Pretty interesting. I have no clue what that is. It's metal on the outside, metal on the inside. Very strange. I'll take this, even though it's kind of big. It's interesting at least. It's got some crimp marks on there. Really weird. Very weird. Alright, I'm out here in the middle of a soccer field. There is 
just flat land all the way around. Looks like they're loading up some equipment over there. Just dug this pretty strong signal and this popped right up. And it's the weirdest thing. Because I saw that it had some fishing line tied to it and it's got a number seven. So I think that's a fishing weight. Why it's out here in the middle of a soccer field, I have no clue. Super strange. I mean, I'm guessing that's what it is. I can't think of anything else. Really odd. Still on the soccer field. Uh, I've explored pretty much most of this at this point, and I'm about to head home, I think. But I did hit one more on the way back. I dug up this little guy. WW, which I think is Winchester, 45 automatic, fired. Never s ceases to amaze me the uh, amount of ammunition that I find in the parks. It's just crazy. It's been here for a while, it looks like. Would not want to be on the other end of this gun. Off the beaten path again. Uh, there's a soccer field I was looking at earlier. Decided to come back in these woods. Uh, there's some trash back here, nothing too bad. Uh, the mosquitoes are starting to come out, so I'll probably have to take off soon. But, right at the base of this tree, and I've been having a lot of luck at the base of trees. I got a coin signal. I haven't taken it out yet, so this will be a little live dig. This is right there. Under that little patch. Let's find out together. There it is. It looks to be a penny. Oh, nice. It's a wheat penny. All right. Can I find the date without messing this thing up too much? I will clean it off. I've almost got a date there. I'll clean it off and I'll let you know. Yeah, unfortunately it's it's just too chewed up to really tell. I cannot for the life of me make that out. The back looks way better than the front. <laughs> it's interesting. The back's perfect. But yeah, that front is just gone. We'll never know. Well now this is kind of cool. A couple inches down, got a pretty strong hit. And this appears to be an old pocket knife. It's a cool find. I'll have to clean that up and see if it has any markings on it. Right away, without too much effort, I was able to clean it off. I mean, it's in terrible condition. <laughs> Completely deteriorated, but it's got a little logo on there. Anybody recognizes that? That would be pretty cool to figure out where that came from. All the blades are completely rusted together. Kind of neat though. All right, here we go. This is my collection from the last couple days hunting parks here in Lansing. I've got quite a collection of stuff here, so I'll go through it and just let you guys know what I have. Um, as far as change goes, I got about, I don't know, $4 in, in clad. No silver, unfortunately. Um, there's a lot of really interesting coins. I got a couple wheat pennies. Uh, one from the 40s for sure. One uh, un unknown. It's, it's really hard to see what the date is on this one. Um, but it, it looks nice, nonetheless. Uh, got a 1940 nickel, which I really like. I think that's the oldest nickel I've found so far. Um, dimes range anywhere from 1970s to current, uh, quarters, I got a 1967 all the way up to uh, a 99, and then this half dollar is pretty great, uh, it's a 1974, had clad on it, but it's all gone, so now it's just copper. A couple Canadian pennies, or a penny, and then a dime. Uh, the dime is actually composed of nickel. Uh, pop this one out of the park, and it's 
in pristine condition. So that one must have just gotten dropped not too much, not too long ago, because there's no way it would have survived this long if it was in the ground um, for a long time. Um, going on to the ammunition up here, we've got a uh, UMC Nitro shotgun shell right here. I think that's actually the oldest, one of the oldest things I found. That That's uh, 1913 to 1915. The shell next to it has a U on it. I looked into that. Uh, that's Union Metallic Cartridge Company. Really hard to date those. Um, they started as early as 1885. I mean, it's definitely old, but it's really impossible to say when it is because they've been using that head stamp for a long time. Uh, the one next to it, the short one, is the, uh, it's got an N on there. That's a national cartridge from uh, possibly 1909. And we've got a slug um, and a couple other shells there. Pretty interesting. Uh, going on to some jewelry, we've got um, this barrette that I cleaned up. Uh, it's really pretty, actually. It's very... Or it's, a, or it's a brooch. I'm not entirely sure. I think it's a brooch. Um, but that's got some silver in it and some kind of unknown metal. It's definitely not gold. It's probably brass. Um, but it's pretty nonetheless. This turned out to be nothing. It's just uh, plastic. <laughs> and then this, this little guy, which I was hoping was uh, some kind of gem, is unfortunately the same kind of thing. It's, it's just plastic. It's costume jewelry. So nothing good there. Over here to the interesting things, we've got a little weight of some kind. It's lead. I'm not entirely sure what that is. This little copper cap that I found at the park. Looks like it could be for, who knows, an old, an old bottle. Uh, the fishing weight, really interesting. Found that out in the middle of the soccer field. The, uh, the knife cleaned up pretty well, actually. That looks pretty good. The um, bundle of wire. That's all copper. It's really, really heavy. An old key. Uh, and then we'll talk about the two really cool finds that I, I really am pretty proud of. Number one, we've got this little guy here. And it took me a while to find out what in the heck this was because the shape is really odd. But once I cleaned it up, I got, I got the eagle to come out. Um, the word simplex. And that was really all I needed. Turns out this is a pencil sharpener from 1906. Pretty amazing. So you'd pop your pencil right in there and there used to be a blade attached right here. That's uh, long rusted away, but this is probably the oldest thing I've found so far. I still haven't hit 1800s, but this is pretty cool. I like this guy a lot. It's really pretty. Uh, I was able to dig up some of the old advertisements at the end um, as well and they're pretty neat. Pretty cool stuff. Uh, this up here was kind of a surprise as well. This is a little, uh, I don't know if it's an aluminum car from a company called Fidgetoy, uh, which I found at the bottom once I cleaned it out and barely see it. They were out of Rockford, Illinois. And this is from 1950 and it used to be bright silver. You can still see some of the paint on there reflecting a little bit. Um, still got the plastic wheels and it rolls. It rolls pretty well. I cleaned that one up with some vinegar. Um, it didn't eat away too much at it. I didn't want to wreck it. Um, but man, it's pretty awesome. I really like this guy a lot. Didn't think I'd ever find something like that. That was totally unexpected, right off the main road there at the park. So that's gonna do it for this video, guys. Thank you again so much for watching. I really appreciate it. All the kind words, all the support, it means a lot to me. Uh, please share my video, like, subscribe, all the good stuff. I'm going to try to get out even more now that the weather is cooling down. I can uh, be out for longer periods. Uh, so I will hopefully post another video next week. Uh, I have some really great places in mind that I'd like to go. And uh, I think it's going to be pretty exciting. So until then, keep on digging, guys. Thanks.